Hey guys, I'm Eddie with Flight Test Tech, and I'm here to walk you through how to bind your tiny whoop to your T8 light. You can do this a couple of different ways. Uh, you can plug in your battery and go through the bind option, or what we can do here that I'll show you is with Betaflight, you can actually go in and bind it, and then you can go through and test all your control surfaces before you actually hook up a battery and start to fly. Pretty simple process. First thing you need to do is get it connected to your computer with the USB cord. Find your bind button. Everything should be flashing with a solid uh, or with a slow flashing red light. When you press the bind button, the light's going to go solid. You will turn on your T8 light transmitter and make sure that everything comes on, the light's green, no beeping, nothing. Now we're going to press the, the bind button on the back. It's going to get us a, a quick beeping sound. The red light on the button is going to flash. You're going to notice that the light on the tiny whoop will flash and then everything goes solid. At that point, you know you're bound. In beta flight, if you go to the receiver tab, you can now move the control surfaces on your transmitter and your sticks and you can see that everything's working. Now you know you're bound with your tiny whoop and you can go fly. One tip for you when you're trying to bind with your T8 light that we've seen a lot of people have is when you go to turn on your power on your transmitter, you'll notice that you get this beep and you'll actually see that you've got a red flashing light. Start flipping all your switches down and make sure that all the control surfaces are neutral and your throttle is at zero. When you do that, you're actually gonna get the solid green light and you know that it is ready to go into bind mode. If you don't do that, you won't be able to bind your transmitter to anything. One tip for you, if you're using Betaflight, make sure that you don't go in and update the firmware and things like this on this Whoop. We have a special tune that we got straight from Jesse at Tiny Whoop. All the firmware and everything is set specifically for that to handle beginner, intermediate, and advanced flyers. You can make mild changes within Betaflight, but we do not recommend you flashing it without talking to tech support first. Thanks for sticking around through this. This was how to bind your tiny whoop to your T8 light. We got more quick tips coming on the Flight Test Tech channel. See you soon.